young, you know, my she's making room. And so, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for inspiring the motivational speaker. I also do presenting and I'm also an author and I do a couple of other things. We're not going to get straight into that today. Today is all about you guys. So today I'm going to be talking about women empowerment and how together as one, men and women, how we can all make a difference and how that will make an incredible impact. So women and men. Many people say, oh yeah, women is the best or people say men is the best, but if we really want to reach equality, we are both the same. So we all need to try and understand that it doesn't matter if a woman may be more powerful than a man or a man may be more powerful than a woman. If we want to reach equality, we all must see each other as equal. We are both as equal as each other. We are both as important as the other person. So, um, women empowerment. I think it's incredibly important and I want to thank Marie for inviting me today to speak. Um, it's really exciting to be speaking in front of all of you. And really what I wanted, to, or the message I wanted to share to all of you, is that if we start looking at the young girls, like me, <laughs> and if we start looking at the young girls and the young women that are in our communities, and we really start letting them speak up, because Ghana Diaz for Women is all about giving the voice to the voiceless. So if we start showing these young girls that it's okay to speak up, it's okay to contribute your ideas, it's okay to participate in different things, it's okay to say to someone, I don't think that's right, it's okay to stand up for yourself. Because unfortunately there is a time where every woman or every girl has once been overlooked, has once been made fun of because maybe their gender, maybe the colour of their skin. And equality is not just about male and female and them being equal. It's about different races and it's about different sexes being equal. Now, um, giving a voice to the voiceless. If we start empowering these, empowering these little girls or just young girls, young women, to start speaking up and contributing their ideas, they will make a ripple effect. So if we have one person in a community that starts to realize their own worth, starts to realize their own self-belief, their own self-love, they can start empowering so many other people. And that's how we work together as one. Some people say, oh yeah, I really want equality, I really want peace. But then these same people don't want to listen to other people's ideas. They don't want to work with other people. Now there's a quote that I really love. It is called, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go with the team. Now it's so important that we learn how to work together. And of course your opinion, you are entitled to your own opinion. But however, there are so many other people who are entitled to their own opinions as well. And that's why we all need to work together to make a difference and to make an impact. Now, the last thing I kind of wanted to say is um, if we start working together and if we start listening to each other and we really start to care for each other, and even though you see on social media, oh yeah, girl power, women empowerment. The world still hasn't gotten to equality yet. We may be thinking, oh yeah, people are starting to promote it more, but we have not gotten to where we need to yet. And so many people are like, oh yeah, people are already talking about women empowerment, we can leave it now, let's move on to a different topic. No, this is going to be something we're going to have to deal with for a very long time. Because unfortunately, stereotypes that want to mold our futures are still there, they still exist. People are like, oh yeah, let's abolish these, um, let's, let's try and make human, human rights or female rights or women rights, whatever it is. We need to abolish stereotypes. We need to abolish this sense of discrimination. And that as a, fig as a figure or that as a saying is enough for us to move forward. So if we start to abolish stereotypes and to realize that 
we can still carry on doing something because sometimes we are overlooked and they say, yeah, you're not allowed to do that because it's perhaps a masculine thing to do. Or maybe if a guy wants to do something that is a feminist thing to do. And this is what I'm talking about is equality. No one is better than the other. We are all equal. We all have our own powers and we are all individuals. The fact that we are all different but the same at the same time just tells you why we should all be represented as equals. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be here to the end of the event. I'm really upset about that because I need to run off to another one. Um, but but um, if you guys like to talk to me, I have some um, business cards and leaflets. So I can give out to you guys if you want to talk to all of you. But um, yeah, thank you all so much for listening. And together we can make it.